Hello everyone and welcome to the Aquarium Advisor channel, I am Sean, and in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the best aquarium plants for guppies. Tall bushy varieties are best used as background plants in the rear corners of guppies tank and along the back. They can be arranged in front of heaters, filter tubes, air hoses, and box filters so that they hide these unsightly items. Other varieties of shorter plants can be placed in front of the background plants to provide, as it were, a natural progression of height toward the back of the aquarium. This progression creates a well-balanced overall pleasing effect, and it leaves the guppies plenty of open swimming room at the front of the tank where they will be more visible most of the time. If at times the guppies need more seclusion, they can swim through the plant thickets or hide behind them. There are quite a few commonly available plants that do well in a new, nutrient-poor guppies aquarium. One of the easiest plants to grow in an aquarium is the java fern. This plant has a thick rhizome that produces light green to dark green leaves shaped like elongated spearheads. The water sprite is a commonly available aquatic fern that is also extremely versatile in its requirements. It grows best in acidic, shaded water, but it also grows quite well in normal aquarium water in a moderate, but not excessive, amount of light. Some crypts are amphibious, whereas others are completely aquatic. Marsh species, such as Cryptocorn beckettii and Cryptocorn willisii, are often grown in domestic aquatic nurseries. Aponogetans are good plants for a new guppy aquarium because they have a thick tuber that contains a vast food supply that can sustain the plants for months in a nutrient-poor aquarium. Sword plants, Echinodora species, are found almost exclusively in South America, especially in Brazil. One of the easiest to grow in almost any aquarium, new or old. It has large, bright green leaves that are elongate and spear-shaped, like those of the crypts, but they are proportionally much broader. The leaf blades have strong veins and can grow to a length of 12 inches. The plant grows well in a new aquarium because it has an unusually heavy rhizome for a sword plant. It is tolerant of temperatures as low as 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Elodia is a dark green color, the plants are useful as a background because they can be trimmed to the height of the aquarium, which is true of most of the non-rooted plants. Hygrophila polysperma is one of the most frequently seen cut, bunched plants. Its light green leaves grow out of stem nodules in pairs, usually 180 degrees apart. Alternating leaf pairs grow perpendicular to one another, so looking down from the top of the stalk the leaves seem to come out in four directions 90 degrees apart. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, share, subscribe and we will see you in the next video.